Let's get you right to Omaha with meteorologist Mike Seidel covering the winter storm for us. Uh, Mike, it's about to begin for us in earnest. What should people anticipate for maybe this afternoon's commute? Well, certainly it's going to be snowing hard by then. The roads are going to be snow packed and snow covered. Right now, the snow is just getting underway. Our temperatures are right around freezing, 31, 32. We may still mix a little bit. You mentioned Lincoln had freezing rain. Look on the radar. You can see how close we are to the mixture, the freezing rain, and then the snow. So we're going to be on the edge, and then everything will fill in. Lincoln has freezing rain. But I want to show you what it looks like out in western and central Nebraska. This is just uh, around the Kearney area. Keep in mind, I-80 is now shut down in both directions directions from west of Kearney to the Wyoming line. That's about 250 miles, and that's the kind of roadways we'll see here later this afternoon and tonight. We're expecting upwards of 8, 9, maybe 10 inches of snow, and that would wipe away the entire snowfall deficit. And one gentleman who's happy to see it flaking is Michael Tyrone with Wayland's Lawn and Landscaping. This is, this is money. This is gold right here. This is it right here. So this season so far, only 5.2 inches of snow. So you guys who are normally landscapers in the warmer months of the year put the, the plow on and go out there and uh, clean off the snow. Yep, we take care of business. We make sure our street sweepers are all clean, don't freeze. Our plows are ready. Everything's greased up. Uh, talk about the tolerance uh, as far as roadways versus like city hall and areas that people walk a lot. Yeah, so we have the federal courthouse actually right up the street, and that's a zero tolerance job. I mean, government contract, we got to make sure everything's clear, no liability. So you don't wait for the first inch. We're out here right now. We already laid uh, pre-treatment down. And you also have residential properties. How do they rank versus the commercial properties on a day where people are in at work? <laughs> I don't want to even get mad at me now. but No, no, we, I, I know. It's, we'll get, it's we'll, priorities. We, yeah, we get to them. We make sure everyone's taken care of. And... The fact that it hasn't snowed much this year, what about the retainer? Because I, I've talked to other snowplow operators, just because it doesn't snow doesn't mean you're not getting paid, uh, at least somewhat. Yeah, so we, most of our contracts are uh, hourly or per push, but we do have some retainer style jobs, so. So you make some money. Yes, and that's sir. the that's the bad boy there, the boss, right? That's the boss of all bosses right there. A <laughs> couple thousand dollars and you're you're ready to go. Yep. Wow, you know, I used to shovel snow back in the 60s, and I'd do a whole sidewalk and a whole yard, you know, house, and I would get a dollar. And minimum wage back then was a uh, dollar and a quarter, so I felt like I, I, I was making some money. Yeah. But it's backbreaking work. <laughs> it's tough. Do you do a lot of shoveling, or is it mostly just plowing and blowing? Uh, we do a bit of both. I actually have a setup in the back right now, so we can take a look at that. Okay, Michael Turon, thanks for joining us. Get out there, and uh, we'll hope for as many inches as possible. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Alex, there you go. There, there are some people happy about the snow, and the kids, too. Now, just about all the schools were closed today, some on virtual learning. We'll wait and see this afternoon if the towel is thrown in for tomorrow because we're going to get a fair amount of snow. And it's going to snow probably until a little after midnight. Yeah. So they will have time overnight to clear it. But otherwise, we're going to make up for the deficit here in Omaha and along I-80 because uh, I-80 has not had a lot of snow. 5.2 here, Des Moines to Chicago. Chicago's only had four inches. They'll get rain with this one this time around. Yeah, sorry, Chicago. I, I know National Weather Service there in Omaha was warning people the, the <laughs> afternoon commute today is going to be really, really bad. So they were saying take a half day if you can. But the kids are going to be happy. Mike? Oh, certainly. Yeah. Certainly. If they can get in a snow day tomorrow or a virtual learning day. Oh, that'd be huge. There you go. It's a twofer in the words of Cantori. Thanks so much, Mike <laughs> Seidel. We're going to check back in with him in a very snowy Omaha. So we have a serious winter weather threat across the plains. Let's take you right to Omaha, Nebraska with meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, it's coming down now. If folks might be on, say, I-29 or I-80 this afternoon or this evening, what are they in for? They're in for a rough ride. Let me take it out to I-80 first. This is in the western part of Nebraska. This is out in North Platte. And some areas out there have already had a foot of snow from Iggy, 12 inches. It's all headed this way. We just really started snowing about 45 minutes ago, and we're right on the edge. So I think from here on out, it's going to be snow. Lincoln still has some freezing rain. Down at Offutt, which is south of town, has rain and snow mixed down to 33. We're right at 31. You can see the uh, picture looking off to the north and west. And... Everything's getting covered. Now, this is uh, AstroTurf. This is artificial grass, but you can see it's already uh, got a kind of dusting on top of it. Let's take a look at the radar. Everything moving generally southwest to northeast. You can see 
the demarcation between the freezing rain sleet and the snow. And we're right there, just right there on the line, but it's all going to fill in. And the snow is going to be moderate to heavy at times, like we've seen in the western and central part of Nebraska. So it's going to come down at an inch, maybe two inches an hour as we go through the afternoon into the rush hour. Then it will start to ease off later on tonight. The warning goes all night till 6 a.m. tomorrow, but most of the snow will have fallen by midnight tonight. Out at the airport so far, 21 cancellations in and out of Epley, about 8 percent of the departures so far. So not a big impact at this point, except now they will be de-icing. So snowfall totals, we're looking for 8 to 10 inches around the Omaha area. That is a lot of snow for one storm. And considering they've only had about five inches so far this season, this is going to probably wipe out just about the entire snowfall deficit for the season. So uh, a big snowfall. Kids are going to love it. We'll find out what they do tomorrow. Most everything was closed today school-wise or they were home with virtual learning. Now, we have this storm to deal with, Iggy. It's going to move up into the upper Midwest. Chicago, you stay rain. Some of this will impact the ski resorts in northern New England as we get into the next day or so. So we'll be following that. But again, New York City, Philly, Boston, uh, those areas will get rainfall. We'll come back. We'll keep you updated from Omaha through the afternoon. Also, more on the severe weather threat. And that tornado threat, we'll go back to Mike Bettis and Alex in the studio when we come back in a few minutes. Stay with us here on the Weather Channel. Let's go to Omaha right now with meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, the snow's going to get only more intense as we go through the evening. How much are we talking here? How tough could road conditions be? It's going to get rough here, and you saw what we've seen. You saw what we've seen out in western and central Nebraska. All those uh, roads closed, and 30 and 80 parallel each other. So, I remember back a couple months ago in South Dakota, they shut down I-90, but trucks were trying to take these the U.S. highways. But now you've got both of them shut down. We've had up to a foot of snow in western Nebraska. Here, it's just getting underway in Omaha. And I want to bring in who a guy who knows what's going on. He's the head of streets, streets uh, and sanitation, and uh, all the maintenance and the plowing. This is Austin Rouser. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And you've had a pretty mild winter so far. January's been very warm. So everybody's uh, getting out on the roads now, and you've got your plows out. That's right. We've got our plows out. We've got our streets pre-treated. We put some sodium chloride brine down on those streets yesterday and today leading up to this. So we're uh, got everybody out driving. We just had a plow pass by a minute ago. So they're, they're on the roads, and we're getting some salt down right now, and pretty soon we'll get enough accumulation to get the plows down and push it off. Well, the good thing we have going for us now, we have daylight, so we have some radiation. And it's only 32 degrees, which is, right. you know, and it's borderline. In fact, south of town and often, I just told you, they have a mixture of rain and sleet. But it's going to be snowing hard at times. Big concern is going to be after sundown. Absolutely, yep. So our, our plows will run 24 hours a day. Uh, we, we generally clear our streets w when it's done accumulating within 12 to 18 hours. And we have contractors to help that, that supplement city crews. Right now we have just city crews out, but we'll have contractors come in later. And uh, we'll get all our stuff. And we've got in. these guys, yeah. the brushes. We want to spin around and get the brushes here. There we go. Uh, cleaning all the sidewalks here at the park. Now they do a lot of the downtown streets. We, we do a lot of the downtown streets. A lot, a lot, a lot of small equipment like that works on sidewalks. Sidewalks are typically the responsibility of our property owners or our businesses right. to maintain here in Omaha. Uh, this is our, our parks department yeah. with one of their partners that is clearing the, the streets here, the sidewalks. And as much salt as you need, you've got it because We've it's got, been a quiet winter. It's been it's How been many quiet tons? so far. Yeah, we, we go through about 25 to 100 tons to 3,000 tons. We have 5,000 miles of streets that we have to plow and treat in a, in a winter snow operation. So we generally stock up with about 60. Thousand tons at the start of the season. So you're in you're in good shape for this one. Yeah, absolutely. Just, it's yeah. just a matter of what happens between now and March, maybe April, right? Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't snow in April. Right. Austin, right. Austin, thanks okay. for joining yep. us from the Department of Public Works. You can see the snow is lightening up now. I mentioned south of town they've got a mixture. It's all going to be snow wherever you're watching. Lincoln, uh, down towards the uh, state line with Missouri. All these areas will go over to snow if they're freezing rain and sleet right now, and the intensity will pick up. We're going to talk about at least an inch an hour of snowfall this afternoon and this evening. So the evening rush hour is going to be a mess. And once the sun sets, we'll lose the advantage of the daylight. And also temperatures tonight will fall down to the mid-20s. So the roads are going to get slick and snow covered like we've seen 
out there in West Nebraska. But Alex, uh, unlike what we've seen earlier in the winter season, there's not a whole lot of wind. No yeah. blizzard warnings are up. In fact, I couldn't find winds gusting more than about 15, 18 miles an hour out where they have I-80 shut down. So it's purely the amount of snow, the yeah. volume of snow, not so much the blowing and the drifting. All right, so one bright spot for even the snow haters that we're not dealing with all of the other issues that we can get. This is just good old-fashioned heavy snow. Mike Seidel, thanks so much. We want to get the latest of what's happening in Omaha right now. That's where meteorologist Mike Seidel is. And Mike, yeah, we've been dry slotted here today, but now you've got a couple flakes. Are you seeing them where you are? Uh, no, we've had some sleep, and now it's just a mist. We'll go up to the, the light mark. We'll pan up to the light there. You can see what's coming down, and it's just a gentle mist. The temperature's at 33, so we're just above freezing. Just kind of a cold, damp night here in Omaha. And the snow did not happen because basically we got dry slotted. That's the push of air, the drier air in the mid and upper levels around the upper low, and that came in. It was supposed to be farther to our east. It ended up here, and so at this point, maybe an inch in Omaha. That's about it. And as you get north and west on the radar, you can see uh, the darker colors. We still got some moderate snow out there as you get out towards Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, it's still snowing lightly to almost moderate out in the western parts of Nebraska around Kearney. They've had over 10 inches of snow. I-80 is shut down from Garden City all the way to the Wyoming line along with US-30. Uh, the winds here are going to pick up overnight. As the low goes across, the surface low goes across Missouri, that'll drag down somewhat colder air. So temperatures tonight will fall back into the mid to the upper 20s. So all of this out here, this slush, is going to freeze up. If it hasn't been treated, uh, that's the rule tomorrow morning. If it hasn't been treated, sidewalks, uh, your steps, your carport, your driveway, it's going to be icy because you've got just enough slush and it's sleet, it's snow, it's snow grains. That will freeze up. No word on schools yet, of course, in most areas. They wait and make that call early in the morning, about 5 or 5.30 uh, in the morning. And so far, Jackie, just three flights are canceled out of Epley Field. Uh, tomorrow morning. Destinations, I remember, one to Midway, one to O'Hare, and one to LaGuardia. So uh, not much of an impact there today and certainly little tomorrow as uh, we get the precip out of here in the morning. I always feel like that ice is worse though, Mike. I'm not sure. Would you rather have nine inches of snow or would you ha have rather have a glaze of ice on the road? N oh, nine inches of snow. Nine inches of snow by far. I mean, you can you. drive in that. Uh, you get more traction under your feet. But when you have a, a skating rink under your feet uh, with these boots on or any kind of shoes, unless you're wearing your Jimmy Choo heels, uh, you're going to, you know, <laughs> risk falling down. I don't wear Jimmy Choo heels. I'm I just do. saying. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't. No, I don't wear Jimmy Choo heels. Not, not on air anyway. No judging here, Mike. All right. Um, thanks so much for that live report, Mike Seidel in Omaha, Nebraska. As the Weather Channel's meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Omaha, Nebraska, Mike, and it looks like you're getting into some of that drier air. Winter weather advisory for you. What's the latest? Yeah, we got dry slotted today. That was becoming more evident as we got through the mid and latter part of the afternoon. So as a result, 6 to 10 is not verifying here. We've had barely a half an inch. We've got sleet, snow grains, and snowflakes on the ground. Uh, this is all going to glaze over overnight. Once the storm goes by to our south, heads up through uh, northern Missouri, winds will shift around to the northwest. Temperatures will fall back into the upper 20s. Right now, we just look under the street lights. It's a mist. We've had this misty kind of rain for a few hours. Temperature's still 33, so it's not freezing. Uh, the big snows have been out in the western part of the state, central and western from Grand Isle all the way to the Wyoming line. I-80 is shut down. Let's go to North Platte, Nebraska, where they set their January daily snowfall record today. Now, this goes back to 1875, 12.3 inches. No wonder the interstate shut down there. Many areas out there getting a foot or more of snowfall. In Custer County, they've had two feet of snowfall. But right now on the radar, you can see where the heavy snow is, as Ray mentioned. I just checked Des Moines uh, between 7 and 8 p.m. Central. They picked up two inches, two inches in one hour. And so they have now three inches on the ground from this storm. They were, uh, like us, had a bare ground going into this. So that's where the heavy snow is, up and down 35. Minneapolis-St. Paul will have a little bit of snow tonight. They're in an advisory. So, Ray, maybe several inches of snow. By the way, Ray, in Minneapolis, if they get 
three more inches of snow, they will be at their seasonal average, and it's only what the middle part of January, which is about 52 and change. So again, tomorrow morning, watch the untreated surfaces, and you'll be okay. We we missed this one, Ray. You know yeah. what happens when the dreaded dry slot gets in, in the way of a good forecast. Yeah, always difficult to forecast. And, uh, Mike, maybe next time, I'm sure, uh, looking ahead to next week, you'll have an opportunity.